place looks like, you know, Island Music, Big Free, Rome Drakes, Patch, and Bamboo everywhere, and you just kind of like, let it all go for a bit. Let it all go. That's something type A Washington DC types like me should probably do a bit more often. But here's the thing, I'm drinking a pina colada out of a ceramic mug that's shaped like what's actually an important cultural symbol for the Hawaiians, the Maori, and the Samoans. You've got to stop and think about that for a minute, says Korea from the Smithsonian. What you're looking at, the carvings, are either representations of gods or the representation of ancestors. He says it would be like having a Christian-themed bar, drinking out of a glass shaped like the Virgin Mary. Really, when you look at the root of this, it's exploitation. It's ignoring the real lives, the real cultures, the real challenges that they face. Like the fact that global warming is threatening their homeland and their traditional ways of living. Angelo agrees, up to a point. He says the whole tiki phenomenon is also affecting how Americans think about the Pacific Islands. We're seen as this place that's just a tourist destination. And it's only, a, it's only a place that you go to have fun. And that doesn't sit well with many islanders who think of themselves as earnest, hard workers. But he's still able to enjoy his pineapple and hospitality. I'm feeling hospitality, let me tell you. The way we look at the popular culture is more of an issue of identity. But, man, this rum is good. Hanvi <laughs> <laughs> Singh and the Arnies. Fire 